There are some serious issues with animation schools that we need to talk about. Hi guys, my name is Aziz and today I'm going to be discussing some of the really bad issues with animation school um, and animation college because there are some really, really serious issues that no one really talks about and I thought that it's important that people should know everything that goes on kind of thing. Firstly, let me clear up, I'm not talking about my experience because I'm in New Zealand and New Zealand and American animation colleges are very different. Um, New Zealand is really not an artistic or kind of animation based hub whatsoever compared to places like LA, New York, Vancouver, etc. where there are a lot of schools and stuff like that. Just New Zealand is really kind of barren in terms of that. So I'm not talking about my experience because my experience would be very, very different. I'm talking about American schools and I'm, you know the ones I'm talking about. I'm not trying to get a lawsuit, um, even though I would totally like Phoenix write their asses in court. <laughs> I'm not trying to get a lawsuit, so I'm not going to name them and I'm not going to name anyone specific because these colleges are very kind of fierce in protecting their integrity and their brand. And when kind of scandals do come out, they're really quick to sue. So I'm not trying to get sued. So I'm not going to mention names, but you know the ones I'm talking about. They're big American animation colleges very famous you can definitely think of a few and we're, we're thinking about the same ones like i know so firstly i'm going to talk about the teachers and the staff at these schools recently um there's been a huge kind of movement in kind of exposing teachers at these schools for just really bad abuses of power terrible ethics just really really bad behavior in general one which has resulted in a lawsuit against the student this teacher who had about 60 allegations leveled against him is now suing the the main student who um, made allegations against him to the point where her livelihood and her financial stability forever is in jeopardy because it is so expensive to be sued and kind of go to court but yeah it wasn't just that school or just that teacher that was kind of um, involved in allegations there have been so so many things that have come out about staff that are in positions of power and have had allegations of really creepy behavior, sexual abuse, shrugging off mental health issues, obviously like racial biases and stuff like that. Really unfair kind of treatment of students. I mean one or two people you can kind of understand because I feel like every school has that teacher who's just like horrible and they're like why? Why did you hire this person? But for so many teachers to be implicated in so many different schools it's, it's kind of insane and it, it kind of says to me that it's more of a systemic issue of these teachers having a lot of privilege but it's really bad when multiple teachers in multiple schools and I don't mean multiple like one or two in each school I mean like a lot of the teachers at different schools have been implicated in things and it's it's it really points that there's more to this because it's like there, there are just so many people being kind of included in this that it's baffling to me that they have been hired. You know, these students are paying thousands and thousands of dollars to go to these schools, and this is the kind of people that they're frequently encountering, and it's like, make it make sense, you know? Another issue is crunch. Basically, these schools put an absolutely unnecessary amount of stress on their students. Um, students generally have to make like a film each year if they're in animation school which is like a lot of work but there are so many stories of students having to leave school or be hospitalized or make the choice between staying at school or you know feeling suicidal 90% of the time because they make you prioritize work above your mental health and that's a general issue that the animation community has there's this like kind of idea in the community that like the work comes first and you come second and like it's fine to like grind for 48 hours straight and not eat and like it's fine to be like a wreck as long as you get the work done like that's just what it takes to be in the industry you know and it's it's a really harmful mindset because it has caused so many people to really actually believe that that's true um and that work comes first above everything else and of course it's obvious that if you're not putting yourself first then the work is going to be really subpar and it you, you know you can't live like that for any extended amount of time because you need to look after yourself so it's it's absolutely ridiculous and it, it's how you can't sustain a business or an industry with that kind of attitude because it's so harmful but that's kind of the rhetoric that a lot of these schools regurgitate is that you you need to focus on your work um it doesn't you know they're very unforgiving in terms of you know I've been sick or like my family member was sick or I was going through this like you, generally you won't get an extension um you'll just fail and 
that's really kind of perpetuating that unhealthy ingrained idea that you need to put work first and is is such a big issue and these schools are just they like feel like they're the number one culprit in terms of like making up that myth and like perpetuating it to students so that they carry it into their adult lives and i know that at least in a few of these schools they have covered up suicides like actually tried to cover up suicides that have happened because there have been so many I mean not that there's like tens of people doing it but multiple people in a short amount of time doing it because the conditions are just so brutal and pair that with already kind of compromised mental health and you know it's a recipe for disaster and the fact that they have tried to cover this up at at least one school I don't know if it's multiple but at least one school have tried to cover up multiple suicides at this school it's just it's sickening you know it's like horrible that these places that are meant to help you in the industry or like tutor you and nurture your like skill and help you grow are forcing these students to feel like they literally have no other option you know of course they did but you know you should never feel pressured by an institution like that that you put your trust in and that you gave all this money to like you know i feel like they've just let their students down in so many different ways next we're going to talk about the debt obviously like i said i'm a new zealander so i i don't really know about debt no well i I don't really know about the the insane amount of debt that americans get but it's absolutely insane to me i remember when i was younger i did i used to want to go to one of these schools and i used to look at like the prices and it's like fifty thousand dollars a year like a, a semester or something like ridiculous and and it's just insane to me because when you pair that with the American kind of debt system it just increases your debt a ridiculous amount like people pay it off for years and they still have their entire total owing because they've just paid the interest pretty much it's just ridiculous and it's sickening that kind of the American education system encourages kids to do this because they're basically encouraging kids to get themselves in debt for the rest of their life to the point where they will never be able to pay it off and that's it's they, they never tell them that of course they just say you know it's just a natural thing like you just have to take out debt but it's like that's gonna ruin this person you know especially if they're lower class and i've heard from sources which i obviously won't name like i've talked to them privately and i'm not gonna name them of course but i've heard from sources that they go to lower income schools and they kind of they do their presentation and stuff and they're like come to blah 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 and it's really terrible that they specifically target lower income schools and offer them like part scholarships because it's like these kids of course they want to like get the best education and they want to follow their dreams like especially if they're super into art but it's like you're specifically targeting kids who are going to put themselves and their parents into financial ruin pretty much to go to the school not knowing really what they're getting into with the crunch and the general abuse of power and the debt like then you're not really educating these kids on what they're getting into you know what i mean these schools charge an absolutely ridiculous amount of debt to attend um and then they are very very unforgiving in terms of finances for example um during covid a lot of these schools have pretty much forced students to come back on campus even though it's not safe so they can still get money from like dorm kind of costs. If students move off campus, they are still having to pay for dorms. They're getting kicked from their on-campus jobs and still being expected to pay kind of dorm rates. Throughout the whole school year, kids have mainly been at home doing online learning, which from experience is absolutely not the same when you're doing art as being in class. And they're still being forced to pay full tuition, full dorm cost, full everything. And it's how can you do that? Because you're not really delivering what you said that you would and what the price was agreed upon. So surely the price of the year should be somewhat discounted or kids shouldn't have to pay for their dorm costs um, when they're not living there. These schools are not only responsible for putting their students in um, financial peril, they're responsible for putting their students in actual peril. Like you are genuinely endangering the health and safety of your students which is just it's you're meant to be there for them you know like you're not meant to be literally forcing them to choose between school or get my entire family sick and never be able to pay any of the hospital bills because i'm paying you i'm paying these debts off and it's just it's it's insane like i i don't understand how these schools can have these kind of slimy tactics 
I can't really comment on the actual state of the learning. I've heard from a lot of people that it 100% wasn't worth it and that it was a waste of money. They got terrible teachers. They hated it. But then I've heard from other people that they really enjoyed it and that it was great and a really good learning experience. And I can't necessarily comment on that because like I said, I've never attended an American school. I'm a New Zealander. And I'm not here to fully answer the question of whether college or art school is worth it. Personally, for me, it's a difficult question to answer because it's just so different from American college but it, I guess it's really up to the individual because a lot of people have felt really traumatized by their experience from feeling ostracized from their peers to feeling singled out by teachers to just general mental health struggles um, and kind of the the struggles that that school brings on and the pressure and they they said you know it's done irreversible damage to my psyche kind of thing but then other people say you know I really enjoyed it so it's kind of hard to exactly speak on that, but I definitely feel, at least with my personal experience, art school is really more about what you put into it. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to give my take and talk about a lot of these things because it is really crazy, the stuff that kind of goes on in these schools. And, and yeah, I'm sorry that it's kind of more of a rant, almost kind of format but I really felt that I needed to talk about it because there's just an insane amount of just injustice going on you know and it's crazy I feel it is good especially after this year with all that has happened and all the, the amount that these schools have fucked students over that's finally students are kind of being like okay well maybe I won't come back or I won't go to art school which is I think a good choice I think it's good to be critical and at least kind of research before you go obviously um but yeah, it's, I, I just want to talk about it because I feel like more people need to kind of know what they're getting into because they're really not educated at all about what they're getting into when they do. So yeah, a lot of these schools have just been really traumatic and horrible experiences for a lot of students and I thought that that was worth kind of talking about. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this kind of short, weird rant video and um, if you want to see anything similar in the future, let me know. And uh, if you like my videos, um, I was gonna say subscribe, but that makes me sound like a, d a dick. So um, if you like them, good. <laughs> okay, bye.